Hi everyone! Welcome to the CaseGuard Studio training course. In this video, I will cover automatic image redaction. CaseGuard Studio automatically strips metadata from your original file, including GPS coordinates, as it is personal identifying information. If you have a use case for keeping the metadata, please go to Tools at the top of your workspace and select Settings from the drop-down menu. At the top of the Settings panel, select the Codec tab. Check the box next to Keep slash Maintain Metadata from the original file. I do not have a use case for preserving metadata, so I will leave it unchecked for this example. To automatically redact images in CaseGuard, I first need to create a project. I will call my project Image Redaction. I'm not going to add files for my machine just yet, as there is a much faster option inside of CaseGuard. At the top of your workspace, you will see the Create Album button. Click on the button to open up the Create Album pop-up window. Here, I can name my album. I will call it Auto Image Redaction. From here, I will add images to my album by selecting the green Add Files button. I'm going to add images with both faces as well as license plates. Next to the green Add Files button, you will see the file count to the right. In this album, we have 644 images. Click Save. Our album popped up under the Project Files panel. You can see that the number of photos in our album corresponds to the number of frames in this video. The video is only for editing mode. Once we export our redacted files, they will save as individual images. To begin automatic image redaction, click on the smiley face button on the left-hand side of your workspace. This opens up the AI Automatic Detection pop-up window. For this example, I will select both faces and license plates. Click Next. Here, I can select the shape and effect I'd like to apply to the faces detected. For the shape, I will stick with the ellipse shape. And for the effect, I will select the blur effect. Click Next. Here, I can select the shape and effect for license plates. Click Next. In the Advanced Options panel, you can choose to schedule your detection for a later time, like when you go to lunch or go home for the evening. For this example, I will leave it at zero. Click Detect. You can see the green progress bar at the bottom of your workspace, which shows how far into the detection process we are. The video is done detecting, and CaseGuard is asking me if I'd like to save my changes. I'm going to select Yes. Let's look through some of these pictures by clicking the play button. As you can see, all of the faces are redacted. In just a few seconds, CaseGuard Studio automatically detected and redacted 644 images, which would have taken me several hours to do manually. Let me skip ahead and show you some of the license plates. I can also move through my album by clicking the left or right arrow keys on my keyboard. Let me export our redacted album by clicking on the green export button at the top of my workspace and selecting export. The album has been exported and redacted. Let me click play. As you can see, all of the borders around the faces are no longer present in the redacted file. The borders are only for editing mode. And let's skip ahead and see some of the license plates. We can see that there's no border around the license plates either. To locate the images on your machine, select the Open Project folder under your Project Files panel. Here, we can see two folders titled Album. Let me click on the Redacted folder. This is where all of my redacted images were saved. Double-click on an image to open the photo on your machine. As you can see, the image is redacted. You can always make edits to your original image in CaseGuard Studio by clicking the original album. Move, resize, or draw another redaction box as needed. When you're finished, click on the green Export button to export your project. That's all I have for you in this video. 
In the coming videos, I will cover CaseGuard Studio's more advanced features. See you there!